Vigor's journey through Germany continues, and this time all roads lead to the city of Bremen, which doubles as Germany's smallest federal state. The city of Bremen has a population of around 600,000, but attracts at least the same number of tourists every year. Most of them head first to the historic Market Square. The centerpiece of the square is a magnificent example of Gothic architecture. Bremen Town Hall is 600 years old and made it onto the UN's World Heritage List in 2004. Here I'm surrounded by Northern German cultural history. Over there is the distinguished Bremen Town Hall. Next to it are the world famous Bremen Town musicians. And over here is the statue of Roland, which is also on the UNESCO World Heritage List. But does this beautiful town hall still fulfill a useful function today? What is the town hall used for? Uh, there is a mayor uh -huh. and a restaurant is Inside. in there. Okay. For elections or for parties? Ah. So beside being a town hall, it's also uh, there's a theater. A theater, theater inside. Theater, yeah, theater play. Yeah. Interesting ideas, but actually, despite its major role as tourist attraction, it's still the seat of government for the state and city of Bremen to this day. The town hall's Gothic interiors are just as impressive as the exterior of the building. But now it's time to find out how much work really gets done in these fabulous surroundings. Vigor has secured a job as personal assistant to Senate spokesman Herman Klein. Yes, why don't you start by cleaning up my desk? Look at this mess. OK, I start, no problem. I think that's enough now. Now I need some files. Maybe you should go down to the basement and fetch them for me? You know which ones. Yes, OK. Vigor tries hard to fulfill his duties conscientiously, but soon gets led astray. A slightly disoriented Vigor bumps into Klaus Elmshäuser, an expert on the history of the town hall. It's very easy to get lost in this labyrinth, don't you think so? No, I don't think so. Um, initially, it was a very easy building, the uh, city hall of Bremen. It is a cellar, a basement hall, and an upper hall. And everything was complicated was added by later generations. Oh. Vigor hurries back to his boss with an important question. What's so special about this place? This town hall is in the heart of the city. When I come to the office in the morning, I stroll over the market square, buy a bread roll, and sit down here. A couple of minutes later, someone raps on the window pane. Colleagues who work across the way wave to me, and if citizens want to come into the town hall, they can. There's no exclusion zone. The town hall is open. A textbook case of open democracy. My visit to the Bremen City Hall has given me a real insight into a historical building with a modern function. The 600-year Gothic design is really impressive. So, five stars for architectural interest. For action, I'm afraid, just two stars. The only real adventure was getting deliberately lost and then caught by Professor Elmshäuser. But it does also get high marks for the educational experience. So much history, four stars. Bremen Town Hall, a jolly good reason to pay the city a visit. Time now, though, for Vigor to move on to the next destination on his continuing journey through Germany, land of loveliness. <laughs>